What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So real quick, got another review for you guys. You know, these uh, great companies get in contact with me to review their products. You know, I try to stay selective on it, keeping it relevant to the channel. You know, uh, things obviously I have to like, but things, you know, keeping it vehicle related. You know, you guys know I like the upgrades and mods and stuff, keeping it mod related and things like that. But had a company get in contact with me, couldn't have been at a better time. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, had a company reach out to me called Pestio. They do uh, dash cams, you know, front and rear cameras and things like that for, uh, you know, added safety, things like that. But quick one, quick story for you guys. About a month ago, my wife went to go leave work, picked the kids up from daycare. She was going to head home and uh, got in a car accident, you know, and totaled my van. Everybody was all right, luckily. But, uh, you know, it wasn't her fault. It's, you know, one of those things where she was just driving along and a guy just turned in front of her. He had no time and, you know, he totaled the van. So, big reasons people use dash cams is obviously for reasons like that, to protect you against insurance company, accidents, things like that. Also for added security. Most of these dash cams record even when the car's not on. They pick up motion and things like that. So, if you got, you know, vehicle vandalism or theft or anything like that, you know, it will pick it up if they walk in front of the camera. I ride with one on my truck. But uh, now that we got the new van for, for Lauren, I want to get this thing installed in it. And, uh, you know, for reasons like that. So, company couldn't have came at a better time for me. We'll jump down, see what's in the box here. Seems like a pretty great product. And then as soon as she gets into work today, we'll show you a quick installation on it and run through some of the features. So, check it out. All right, guys. So, let's see what comes in the package here. That's the box. Full 1080 HD. Here's some of the features on the side here. It's got the soft light full screen display, probably so it doesn't blind you at night. Got the anti-fog, double lens, 24-hour parking monitor, the 1080, recording 1080p, double night vision, 2.5D glass faceplate, and the pullable front camera lens adjustment. So we'll have to check that out. Here's the back side. List of some of the specifications on here. Video resolution, color effects standard, battery built-in, battery. So this thing does charge up and it will record even when the vehicle's off or maybe when it's not getting a constant power supply. But let's see what's inside here. Slide it up. A little foam packing in here. Here's the unit itself. Pretty nice. Looks like it's got... Uh, a GPS on there, your power input, video input, probably for the rear camera, SD slot, with no SD card in there. So the back side's got some branding back here, looks like a speaker, and then here's the front facing camera here, and you can see it's adjustable this way, and it pulls out too, so that way when you put it on your rear view mirror that's already there, the camera sticks out. But the camera pulls out, looks like, then you could adjust it, kind of point it where you want to. But pretty nice, definitely looks like it's built well. Looks like a button down under here. Not sure if that's going to be a power button or what, but we'll see when we hook it up. But that's the main unit. What else we got in here? And we got the, uh, looks like this will be the rear camera. Uh, definitely looks weatherproof. Real long lead, give you some mounting screws for it. Real long wire, that's where you'll plug it in. And then here's the camera itself. That's also adjustable. Seems pretty decent. I've seen these cameras before. That's where you plug it in. If you want to mount this to your plate bracket or make a bracket in the back, you know, you could just kind of run it through and you don't have to worry about fishing these thick wires through and then just plug them in. So that's the rear camera. Here's your power supply. Looks like it's just a standard 12 volt cigarette adapter. Long wire on this too. When we install this, we're gonna to try to hide the wires, make everything look great, professional. Looks like it gives you uh, two mounting <coughs> pieces of rubber. So this is actually pretty well hidden too. 
um, you know, obviously uh, deters people see a camera. These are probably what's going to mount it around your rear view mirror. Let's give you two different kinds. Maybe some extras or maybe you got to use all four. Not really sure. And then the rest in here is just, uh, you know, warranty card, thank you card probably. And uh, the user manual and installation manual. So pretty decent. That's everything. But we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for Lauren to get here and uh, get this thing installed. Check it out. All right, guys. So I'm setting up, getting ready to install this thing. And as you guys seen in the box, it's not like it's going to take a whole bunch of tools, you know. So if you, you know, you necessarily have a bunch of tools, or you're just a DIY guy, obviously this this camera is going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But I'm going to run through the process for you. Also, got to talk about the discount codes. You guys are looking into this, you know. I got to bring you them discount codes, save you guys some money. Go check out these guys' links, see what they got. This is not the only one. They got a couple other kinds. Se seems like some pretty solid stuff. So you guys looking to save some money, looking in the dash cams, make sure to check them out. Link will be in the description along with the discount codes. All right, guys, so I took everything out of the box. Basically, you got these little straps here. Just clip them onto the backside and then line everything up, extend your camera out. And this fits pretty well. I'm sure different cars fit better than others, but stretch that around. Got that secure. Stretch this one around. And I mean, that's pretty much installed there. You got the camera sticking out. You can angle it once we get the view, what we need. So that's pretty secure. Got that part done. Nice and easy. And then basically from there, we're just going to route, route these, uh, there's the power, we got a cigarette lighter fuse down there. Maybe in the future I'll uh, run this direct, but for now they give you the 12 volt. So we got our power source. Actually this is facing this way, I might just go up and around this way, tuck it into the headliner. So I like to leave a little slack there. All right, guys, and I got it stretched across the headliner here. Kind of left a little bit of slack. Popped the little A-pillar off, and I'm just gonna route it through. Like so. Make sure it's up in there real good. All right. Line that back up. And then just route it back down. We're trying to get to the cigarette lighter fuse there, the power source. All right, nice and hidden. Pop the door trim back on. And then we'll go down here, and I'm just gonna run it underneath, and then back out to the 12 volt power source right there. Now the next one's going to be the rear camera, and I haven't really decided exactly where we're going to mount it in the back, but for now, we'll just get the wire ran probably along the same way. We'll go up along the headliner and try to get this, see how far back we make it here. Now this side's going to plug right into the screen, the mirror, AV in. Tuck that up. Maybe we'll throw some small zip ties on here too. But we'll get this one routed. All right, guys. So we're outside the car now, and I got it pretty much ran to here. And I'm pretty much going to take this and run it all across the headliner to the back, all the way through here. We're going to stick with the headliner, go all through here, all the way back until we come out. Maybe to here. We'll follow the headliner until we come out to here, and. The plan is to maybe mount the camera here. I would say here, but I don't want the door opening and closing. So we're going to probably get it mounted right about there. Let's get this mounted through.
right guys, so we actually made it all the way to the back with some to spare. And this red one is a reverse trigger. So we'll just run this to one of the reverse lights and that'll trigger the backup camera feature and all that to it. But I'm thinking we'll probably just mount this right here. As long as it gets a view out the back window, it'll be your rear uh, camera. And it comes with screws. We'll use the provided screws that it comes with. But for now, I gotta clean up these wires. All right, we're gonna get this camera mounted. Um, I got the little drill. I'm probably gonna use, here's the screws it comes with, little Phillips. And then I'll probably use the 3M sticky tape too. Brought the wire in, they did look nice. Pull a little protective uh, cover, it's the best part. And then we'll worry about this uh, brake light switch. Looks like a couple torques on this. Here's our reverse socket. It's gonna be the uh, white and green trace. A nice little tape weatherproof it all right guys so that's pretty much the install process got the camera mounted that's pretty much the only piece of wire I'm gonna see here it's good enough all right could have you know drill the hole and drop it through there but that should be good and then I got it ran across the headliner all the way to the front got the other red wire dropped down ran to the reverse bulb let's get this thing fired up so that was pretty much the install process Got everything plugged in, wires ran. I'm getting ready to, uh, let's peel this. I'm getting ready to run through some of the features now. So we'll turn the key on. Looks like we got some branding that pops up. I'll try to get rid of that glare. Oh, zoom you guys in a little bit here. So you can see obviously the rear view camera. And then you swipe it. There's a front facing camera. We could angle that down some. Obviously I got it angled down towards you guys, but when I adjust the mirror, you know, it's gonna go where I need it here. Pretty much wide angle too. You can see the rack arms, you pretty much got the whole view there. A Little bit of glare from the windshield, but I think when you're outside that glare will go away. Uh, let me angle this thing down, go through some of the features. You got the record, looks like it's got a, uh, records audio. You could turn off the audio, brightness button. You can see Adam back there sweeping. And then we got all the way bright. You could dim it out. Kind of probably looks better that way anyways. And we got the record. Looks like we could take pictures. I got to get a uh, SD card. They do not come with the SD card, but I figure I'm pretty sure they could take, uh, you know, the 165 gigabyte SD card. Looks like it's got a lock button here, settings. You can go to resolution, video resolution, 1080p, like it says on the box. We'll go back, loop recording, gravity, parking guard, probably when it beeps, you probably could hook sensors up to it. Sound record, we got general, probably uh, could set the clock on it. Power save mode, it looks like I reset, back to factory, vision. A lot of good settings in here. Uh, but you can see the clock turns shows up, the date, the year, the month in the corner there. I don't know if you guys are seeing that right here in the corner. So that's pretty nifty. But all in all, it seems pretty nice. Definitely nice quality camera, I can tell. The Pezio front and rear camera. Recording dash camera and rear camera also a backup camera and that's the way I hooked it up. So we'll fire it up 
let's turn it off. So we got off, power goes off when you open the door because I got it hooked up to ignition power sort. And then we'll go ahead and start it. Should we get the branding? It automatically gives you a backup camera. And then I'm just curious. So you're on front and I go to put it in reverse here. It automatically switches to your backup camera there. So pretty nice. Pretty nice features on this. Guys. All right, guys, so there you have it. The uh, front and rear dash cam and also backup camera by Pesio. Don't forget, link's in the description. We got the discount code down in there for you guys. Save some money if you guys are looking into something like that. Obviously, you've seen the process, the install. You know, 10, 15 minutes it takes to install it. You know, just run those lines. I personally took some more extra time because, you know, I like to hide the wires and all that stuff. Makes everything look, you know, that much more better, but, you know, Slap it in real quick, very easy to install for you DIY guys. Decently priced, you guys save some money on it. I like it, my wife's gonna love it. It is what it is, it saves her so the next time, if anything, God forbid, something happens, you know, between vehicle theft, vandalism, you know, little fender benders, accidents and all that stuff, you know, we put the SD card in there and we have that footage to look back on. So, great little camera, great little mod for your car. But, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.